My name is Jeff Van Geest. I'm the executive chef at Miradoro at Tinhorn Creek. Um, I've been doing this for about 20 years. I uh, started in Vancouver, uh, trained in Vancouver, uh, did my apprenticeship at uh, famous Bishop's restaurant uh, where I became sous chef, opened my own restaurant after that called Aurora Bistro. Um, and I love what I do. If I look around me here and you know the, the view is beautiful, we've got great wines, uh, the produce all comes from right here in the valley. Uh, you know, so now I'm listing the benefits. I mean there's there's so much to love here, you know, and, and even outside of work it's the lifestyle and everything. Uh, you, mountain biking, skiing, fishing, great family, uh, great area for raising a family. Um, yeah, it's it's fantastic being in a winery. And we're always talking about it, and you know, the, when they're excited about a new wine, they're over here, and they're, you know, Coral, the, the assistant winemaker, is, you know, sharing the just bottled wines with me, and, and and you know, making sure I get to taste those, and and then it really gets the the the, the gears moving, and the wheels turning, and thinking about you know what food's going to go with it. it. It sounds like you came here for the lifestyle change to leave the lower mainland. Well, I think first it was for the food and the cooking, and and, and for the wine. Uh, and then after that, it was definitely a lifestyle change. Uh, the city wears on you after a while, and I love Vancouver, mm -hmm. uh, and I always will, and I'll always consider it a home, uh, but now it's a home away from home. I, I love mushrooms. I love going out and picking my own mushrooms uh, and, and also purchasing it. I love the, the uh, interesting cast of characters that <laughs> comes to the back door uh, that have picked uh, mushrooms, you know, the day before, and they've got 10 pounds of this, 10 pounds of that, and, you know, Usually, we always, 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 almost always buy from them. Um, wild asparagus, wild nettles, wild watercress, all kinds of great greens that grow grow around here. If you know where to look for them, um, yeah, that, that's great, and that's a big part of the seasonality. The, the challenging part of the seasonality here is the winter. Coming from the coast, the winters are a lot more mild, and there's a lot of things, hardy greens and whatnot, that survive the winter. And here, there's not a lot that survives the winter. Um, you're relying on preserves and you know certain root vegetables and apples and whatnot that that store well. So yeah, yeah, and we do close for for January and February, which is great. Uh, you know, in terms of just catching up, with family and and sleep and things <laughs> like that. But it's also you know a chance to recharge your batteries and and start thinking about the new year, and new menus and whatnot. Um, and then. Uh, you know, you sort of ramp up, business builds up towards the summer when it gets really intense. And you do, you do a lot of thought in preparing for that time. Yeah. Mountain bike in the summer, snowboard in the winter, and then I like to fly fish as well. So, you know, the two, obviously mountain biking or snow and snowboarding are a little more adrenaline sports. And then the, the, the fly fishing is really all about unwinding and quiet and being by myself. Uh, come visit us. We, uh, we have a lot of fun doing what we do here. We take it really seriously. And we have a lot of fun, you, you know. So... Uh, I think when somebody's cooking for you, you can't ask much for much more than that.